football fever is gripping South Africa as it prepares to host football's Confederation Cup in June and the World Cup next year. Hotels, tour operators, lodges, and game reserves are vying for some of the thousands of fans who will attend and spend millions of dollars during the tournament. South Africa's national team is hosting the teams of Italy, Spain, Brazil, Egypt, Iraq, New Zealand, and the United States in what is seen as a run-up to the World Cup next year. Ten stadiums are being built or refurbished for the World Cup, which is expected to draw up to 400,000 fans, create thousands of jobs, and generate business worth $2 billion. <laughs> Don Pinnock is the editor of Getaway Magazine, a leading travel monthly. He says South Africa has more for visitors to see than just football, despite concerns over safety in a country with a high crime rate. But it's a beautiful country to travel in. Uh, uh, I think the, the ease of travel and the, um, the variation of the many terrains in this country and the availability of accommodation and things kind of outweighs the fear. Other southern African nations are also hoping to draw football fans during their stay in Africa. An official with Zimbabwe's tourism authority, Daipanei Mukwena, says it has attractions that are just a short flight from South Africa. I mean, it's no secret that Zimbabwe is really a world of wonders. What we are selling now is that we, have, we are endowed with quite a number of natural resources and, of course, above all, also the people and, of course, we are a very hospitable people. She acknowledges Zimbabwe has experienced political and economic problems in recent years, but says most travel warnings have been lifted. Humanitarian groups are also getting involved. British travel agent John Haycock has founded Footballs for Fun. Travelers can buy special balls made in South Africa to give to needy children. It has seemed a nice idea that it, to get footballs to the kids of Africa, so they in turn felt that they got some benefit from the fact that this huge tournament was coming to South Africa. Lodges, agents and other groups have bought hundreds of balls to use as promotional items. Critics worry that after the cup, the new stadiums and hotels may be hard to fill, but Pinnock believes they will survive. South Africa maintains a high level of tourist friendliness. And I think that will, whether we get a dip off, we will get a dip off to the World Cup, but I think it will pick up slowly after that. As long as we maintain a stable political and economic situation here, uh, the rest of the country does it for you. For now, most South Africans are focused on the world-class football ahead, and 15 years after the end of apartheid, the opportunity to showcase their emerging nation. Scott Bob, VOA News, Durban, South Africa. I see, see, I'm seeing, make no